I'm Jimmy. And I'm Christina. And we got a bunch of varieties of Lickitex gesso here. I guess we have uh, five of them, right, Christina? Yes, we have five. And we're starting over on the left-hand side. We've got regular gesso. Now, you can paint on a canvas with acrylic paint without priming it. But you get it looking like this. It ends up being a stained canvas because the color is going to soak into the fabric. Which, I mean, it could be desirable. It could be something yeah. like, a, like a Helen Frankenthaler painting, a Morris Lewis painting. Yeah, but you wouldn't want to do that with oil especially. Uh, definitely not. I mean, w when you work on an oil uh, or with oil on an unprimed canvas, that oil is going to eventually degrade the fibers. You're going to have a painting later on that's, that's not going to be mm -hmm. as stable as you want. So, so this is why we have gesso. We have five different varieties. Absolutely. Here you'll notice we have regular gesso. So yeah. that's a regular white gesso. That's our basic common gesso. Which I guess is why it doesn't look like anything, does exactly. it? Exactly. <laughs> it's simply white gesso. Exactly. Um, the next one here, that's one of my favorites. It's clear gesso. What we did is we made some pencil marks and we put the clear gesso over it. So what that basically does, if, if I had a drawing, it's going to protect that from smearing. But where I kind of like it for my own purposes in the studio is I like to do a lot of mixed media work. So I like to draw sometimes on, maybe it's things I've taken out of a magazine, but it's too slick. Mm -hmm. So by putting the clear gesso on there, it gives it a, a tooth and the, the pencil or the uh, pastel, whatever I'm using, can grab onto that. Um, and it's quite nice. Also, if you wanted to work on a surface, maybe like wood or something else, and, and have that grain uh, show through, yeah. kind of nice. Yeah, next we have super heavy gesso. This is great if you want to add texture to your painting while still priming all at the same time. Um, it also adds texture without the cost of using paint. It's actually a lot cheaper to just you know start it, with the texture it is. with your primer. Yeah, ounce for ounce. You know, you could go through a whole lot of paint. You know, obviously everybody knows artists know paint is expensive. So you imagine trying to do that with a tube of cadmium paint. Mm -hmm. Wow, the price is going to go way up. Um, the last two are, are something that's kind of nice if somebody likes to work on a darker ground. We've got a neutral gray gesso and we've got a black gesso. And what I think is really, really nice about these, this is one coat uh, of those on there. I mean, yeah, they're really opaque. Excellent coverage. Mm -hmm. Really quite nice if you want to do that. So uh, if you want to learn a little bit more about these, go to liquitex.com and check out more about Liquitex gessos.